running the business, writing programs to help run the business. Business intelligence is about understanding the business and predicting the future of the business. You understand the difference? 95% of IT jobs are up here, running the business. Okay? Only 5% of the jobs are down here, understanding and predicting the future. But the real business value, probably 40 to 50% of IT's value is down here. Yet it's only 5% of spend and only 5% of resource and thinking. So, think back to reports that you've written. Think back to projects that you've run. Can anyone think of a project that they've worked on in your FileMaker career where you were, were really trying to understand the business or predict the business rather than run the business? Anyone in this room? Yeah. Give an example. Uh, I mean, when I'm programming thing, I'm something, I'm trying to think about what this company is going to be needing in the future for this program and not necessarily what they need at that moment. Okay. But well, what you're thinking about is the future of running the business. Okay. Okay. That's not what we're talking about. Okay. We're actually talking about the future of the business itself. Okay. Questions like, are we in the right business? Are we doing things the right way? Are we making enough money? Are we making any money? Because right. the, the, the accountants, do they tell us whether we're making money? No. They're telling us whether or not we're meeting government rules and regulations and doing things from a correct financial perspective. That doesn't mean whether we're actually making money or not. Because right? there are other business rules that the government doesn't allow that can tell us whether we're making money or not. Because there are certain things that, <clears throat> that accountants cannot include in their calculations. For example, if you purchase a stock and the stock goes up in value, okay, has the company made money? According to the accountant, not until you sell it. Okay? Unless you are a trading firm and then you do mark to market on a day by day basis. Okay. But if you're a normal company and you've done an investment with some temporary cash, you can't record any increase in or decrease in that until you actually close out the transaction. Another good example is property. You're actually decreasing, according to the accountant, the value of your property. You're depreciating it down to zero. In the meantime, the real estate market, hopefully, over the course of 18, 20 years, is making that property more and more valuable. Where is that recorded on your balance sheet? It's not. It's nowhere there. Okay? So there are business intelligence practices that say we can include that information and make it part of our business model. But from a financial perspective, the government forbids accountants from doing that. But we're not accountants. Okay? So here's Markham. Measurements, analytics, reporting, collaboration, and knowledge management. By the way, you're all going to get a copy of this presentation. Don't worry. <laughs> Just write down things that come to your mind. Hmm? It's available now. It's available now, I guess. Okay. So, measurements is not metrics. Okay? Analytics is not analysis. Reporting is not operational reporting. Okay? So all the things that you probably think these are, that's not what they are. They're something slightly different. And we're going to go through that. So, measurement. Remember I said measurement is not metrics, and yet the first thing up there under measurement is <gasps> metrics. <laughs> a metric is a quanti quantitative indicator of a specific attribute of the business. Okay? A quantitative. That's the, the first very important word. Quantitative. Everything we do in business intelligence is quantitative. Competitive intelligence can be qualitative. But business intelligence is always quantitative. 
We want to remove emotion from the equation. Okay? Another thing under measurement is a concept called benchmarking. Benchmarking is about comparing how this company is doing against industry standards. So, I mean, we can look very good against ourselves, but how are we doing against the industry? We could be really excited, we're growing at 7%, yay, 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 but everybody else in our industry is growing at 80%. Are we doing a good job? No. <coughs> we're falling behind. So here's a really good definition of measurement. Measurement is a program, not an indicator. It's a program within a company that creates a hierarchy of metrics and benchmarks that informs the business leaders about progress towards business goals. That's a very important phrase. Progress towards business goals. Measurement is conducted in numbers and is absolutely quantitative at all times. Okay? Measurement is not about activity. How often do you go to a status meeting and your project manager says, well, what have you been doing? And you list all the activities that you've been doing. Okay? What a sucky way to conduct a status meeting. Because the real question to act, ask is, how close are you to finishing? Progress is what they're after, not activity. I don't care if you spent a hundred hours figuring something out. I don't care how many tests you ran. What I care about is, how close are you to completion? What's your level of quality? Okay. How many more resources do you need? How much more time do you need? Measurement is about progress, not activity. Is that clear? So you can really shock somebody by going, in, you know, by running a meeting by saying, "Okay, we're gonna not we're not gonna talk about what you've been doing. We're gonna talk about how close you are to completion." You're gonna be like, ah, "I'm not prepared to talk about that because I don't know." Well, if you don't know, what are you doing? Therefore, this is a corollary to this concept of measurement. All business goals must be quantifiable. Right? Business leaders like to have, and I've sat in rooms with CEOs of large corporations, and they said, well, we want to be the best in our industry. Sorry, not really quantifiable. Okay? We want to have the best product out there. Again, not really quantifiable. You want to improve the quality compared to next last year based on the number of complaints that you get? That I can quantify. You want improvement in quality? That I can quantify. Being the best, being the industry leader, those aren't quantifiable to me. Okay? That's competitive intelligence. That involves inference, not quantifying the number. That's qualitative in nature. So you never want your business goals to be qualitative. You want them to be quantitative. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Great. <laughs> so, to make your reports a little better, by the way, when you're writing reports, instead of reporting on how many of this got done or how many of that got done, report on here's over the last week how we've done and here's how we are compared to last week. Benchmarking against yourself. Okay? Much more interesting reports, much harder to write, much more valuable to the business. Okay? So get this concept in your mind. Think about progress towards goals, not about activity, when you're thinking about creating reports. And the business will always, always ask for activity information. They're morons, really. <laughs> we need to teach them. We need to show them the golden path. All right? So, measurement and performance improvement. This is, again, kind of out of Wikipedia. There's concepts like performance improvement, organizational development, organizational behavior and infrastructure, organizational effectiveness, organizational efficacy. Yeah, 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 go look them up. This is where measurement comes to play. Okay? Your whole program within large corporations that, that you can get involved in and contribute to. Okay. Now, I've been talking about measurement as a hierarchy, and I bet you've been visualizing 